and proper thumbnails. Now look at that. Lovely design. Here's the thing, when I have lots of things to do, like for example editing thumbnails on YouTube or like replying to emails, I always try and batch them into one chunk of time. Simply because it gets you in the mindset, say if you have loads of things that you need to do like every day, whether it's replying to emails or you know, small tasks that take a lot of time to get started but then once you've started to do them they, they're instant, right? So I like to chunk them into batches. So say if I need to reply to emails, I won't reply to emails every day, I'll set I'll set aside a day of the week where I reply to all my emails in one go. And it might take about an hour or two, but then it's just all done in one go. And I'm more productive this way. So what I'm doing today is I'm changing the thumbnails on my YouTube videos just to make them more enticing and make them more descriptive to show you know what the video is actually going to be about. So this is something that I could do every time I make a video or I could you know do a, a few every day. But I'm just going to go ahead and do all of them at one in one go. new way of filming vlogs is just to keep the camera running like just press the record button and just move the camera around and eventually you'll get some good shots like if you just keep doing random things I can't explain how much I love this particular vlogging camera by the way the Sony D DSC WX500 which is this one right here with the lamb cow tripod Three hours later and I'm still going with those thumbnails. <laughs> it's gotta be done though, my old thumbnails are terrible. I might do them on the I might do them on the transcend page as well, I'm not sure yet. That thumbnail's gotta be good enough for you to want to click on it, isn't it really? This could be a good angle for a video actually. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Because I can be more animated here. At some point I'm going to be starting up, I'm going to be starting the Lucid Dream podcast again. Some sort of podcast microphone stand thing that I just never used. Now it just, it just holds up these wires and ivy and things. Charging the drone. I figured if I fly my drones every single day, like for at least 10 or 20 minutes a day, I'm gonna, eventually I'm going to be really good at flying them. And that's pretty much the goal, is just become good at flying these things. Maybe one, who knows, maybe one day I'll be like a drone, a drone racer, or I'll be in the FPV, what's it called, the Drone Racing League. This is where I take the daily pictures, usually for my hair time lapse that I'm going to be doing in a year's time. In a year's time, we will be able to see the growth of the hair. I think I'll make a cool video. Anyway, this is where I film it because the light's really good here. Uh...